new tonight. Surveillance video appears to show male thieves in the act. Investigators believe the man and woman captured on camera have hit the West Chase area twice in just 10 days. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with more of that video that police hope will lead to some arrests. Jessica. Yeah, these thefts have happened over the last couple of weeks at community mailboxes in the West Chase area. They have been reported to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, but the suspects have not been identified. While residents are sleeping, they are committing crimes. Just before midnight on October 17th, two people were hard at work prying open multiple mailboxes at one complex on South Gessner. The woman walks away with a handful of mail and then some. The theft successful enough that 10 days later, they were at it again. They're looking for a shortcut. Uh, they're looking for an easy fix. The second one, October 28th, around 3.30 in the morning. The couple using a crowbar to break in, then walking away with multiple pieces of mail. Among the items stolen in the thefts, medicine, important papers, and Quentin Charlotte's new bank card. Luckily, I was able to deactivate it in time before the subjects were able to do anything negative. With it. Quentin works with the West Chase District on crime and safety issues. They are hopeful the public can help identify the two suspects. The woman wearing a wig in one theft, in the other, she's without it. This, a side-by-side -side of the man. Thieves hit late at night or early in the morning. Quentin encourages residents to retrieve their mail before they go to bed. You know, if there's nothing in there for them to take, then hopefully it'll discourage them from coming back. He's convinced they are connected to more than just two crimes. They're bold. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.